life, I've searched for the lost treasure of the ancient trolls. And what have I got to show for it? Nothing but bad feet and a worn-out treasure detector. I've had it with this worthless piece of junk! What is that? Whoa! Easy 
easier way to learn how to dance without all that dumb practice. There has to be an easier way. Also, it's not fair. Uh, a fair maiden with a pure heart. Cheer up, my dear. Help is here. Oh, an imp. Ah, but not just any imp. I can make your dreams come true. Oh, Smurf Dancer Divine! What, what, what do you mean? Simple, watch! With these special shoes, you'll be the hottest buffer in the village. And best of all, no practice necessary! Go ahead, try them! Wow! I can dance! I can dance! I can goddess! Oh, how can I ever thank you? Don't thank me, my dear. One day, you will repay the favor. Oh, yes. You can count on that. Good. Au revoir, fair maiden. And remember, there's no business like shoe business. <laughs> Whee! Now I'll show them. I'll be the greatest smurf dancer of all time. Hefty! Huh? Oh, oh, oh! Smurfit, practice is over. Who needs practice? Watch this. A star is born. Oh, uh, gosh, Smurfit, you must have done a whole lot of practicing. Practice? No. When you've got it, you. Fair Maiden, the time has come to repay my favor. Oh, sure. Anything. Good, because I want your hand. My hand? In marriage. In marriage? But, 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 but. You promised, and a deal is a deal, my dear. Well, I won't do it. You can't make me. What trouble, Smurfette? Uh, I'm not really the great Smurf dancer you think I am. These magic shoes did it all for me. I got them from an imp, and, and now he says I have to marry him. Oh, boo! Oh, don't worry, Smurfette. We'll handle them. Smurfette, we mustn't be late for the wedding. <laughs> She's not going anywhere. Uh, yeah, so you better leave if you don't want some trouble. Oh, there won't be any trouble. No trouble at all. Oh, help! These shoes! I, I can't stop them! Come, my bouncing bride! <laughs> Let me go! Help! Smurfette! Come back here, Smurf Napper! Come on, Let's go. Come on right here. Right here. We gotta tell Papa Smurf! Tomorrow is my birthday, and the Smurfs haven't said a word. In fact, they seem to be ignoring me. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Ah, oh, I knew they'd remember their Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf, where are you? Papa Smurf, where are you? Papa Smurf, where are you? Here. Oh, Papa Smurf, we've got to hurry. Smurf head has been Smurf -napped. Oh, by an evil imp. We tried to catch him, but he was too fast for us. Then we'll follow his tracks until we find him. Shh. 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 I hate shh. Shh. There it is. The imp's castle. And there's Smurfette. Let look who's keeping her company. Quietly now, we can float across the moat on this log. <gasps> I guess we'll have to find another way. I think I've got it. Oh, if only I'd practice instead of looking for an easy way out. Oh, boo-hoo, I'll never see my Smurfs again. <sighs> I only wish I'd practiced a little 
more. Oh, Hefty, you made it. of my heart, I will give you Smurfs one chance to save your Smurfette. You must go to Dreadful Hollow and bring back three things. A feather from the giant vulture, fire from the volcano, and the blue diamond from its cave. Up a piece of cake. Oh. My friends will show you the way and be back by sunrise tomorrow or Smurfette will be my bride. Bon voyage! <laughs> Come, my little blue bride-to-be. Let's celebrate and also bid farewell to your Smurfs for they'll never leave Dreadful Hollow alive. <laughs> <laughs> Run, you big lizards! We're not afraid! Yeah. <laughs> now I know why they call it Dreadful Hollow. Since we only have until sunrise, we'd better split into three groups. Hefty, you take a team to get the vulture's feather. Yes, sir! Handy, your group is in charge of getting the flame from the volcano. <laughs> Yes, Papa Smurf. And you three follow me. We'll seek the blue diamond. Boom. Yes, Papa Smurf. I say we owe Papa Smurf a debt of gratitude for giving us the easiest assignment. How hard can it be to get a feather from a bird? Ah! But then again... Ah! We'll never get a feather from that monster. Oh, don't worry. I have a plan. There's bound to be plenty of feathers lying around in its nest, so we'll just climb up and get one. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be easier than I thought! As Papa Smurf says, there's nothing to fear if you look before you leave! There's plenty of feathers in here, but they all have owners. <laughs> Help! Help! Put me down! Put me down! Ah! Pick me up! Pick me up! Oh, me. oh no! Help! We're almost there. No problems yet. Oh, yeah? Look what this heat's doing to my complexion. Yeah, I've got a sinking feeling we're in big trouble. Oh, little Smurf's greedy. You're letting your imagination run wild. Blub, blub, help! Greedy! Help! Blub, blub, blub. Well, Smurfs, the blue diamond is right in that cave. It's so quiet. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything to be afraid of. That's what I'm afraid of. I hate afraid. Grouchy, stop! Huh? From now on, I lead the way. Help! Somebody, help! Clumsy, smurf like you've never smurfed before! Clumsy, uh, 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 uh. have the log! Uh, I got the log! Where's the brain? Don't worry about a thing! I'll worry for both of us! Whoa! Whoa! Yay! 
to a rock. And Smurfette's about to get married unless we light this torch in time. Okay, lower away. That's it, steady. A, a little more. Got it! Hooray! Quick, smurf me up, smurf me up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It, it, it sure is c -c cold in here. I want to go home. Wait, look! Ooh! Ah! The blue diamond! We found it! We found it! We found it! Oh, uh, no! Yikes! Look out! Obviously, hail! The time has come to pronounce us imp and wife. <laughs> Hold it! Here are the items you requested. <gasps> you succeeded! <laughs> Incredible! Give them to me! Wait! You must release Smurfette first! You would give me orders? Gargoyles! Collect my wedding gifts and rid my kingdom of these pets! <laughs> Oh, 
the Smurf. This wasn't exactly what we had in mind for your birthday, but enjoy the show! I know now that if you really want to do something well, there's no substitute for practice. Smurfette, you're so right. And I'd say they have a lot of practicing to do. <laughs> oh, how pretty! Cause that's the smurf. They are my most favorite. Oh, a yellow one. Smurf Ann, look how much firewood. Oops. Oh! Clumsy! Help! Uh, Smurfette! What's wrong? Where are you? Down here! Uh, down where? Oh! Down here! Yes, and now we're both down here! Uh, yeah! Kinda cozy, huh? <laughs> oh, clumsy! How will we ever get out of here? Uh, don't worry, Smurfette! I'll just climb up and... Uh, uh, there's still one thing we haven't tried. What's that? Help! Help! Save us! Help! Help! Someone, please help us! Oh, it's no use. Nobody can hear us. Oh, what will we do? <laughs> What's that? Maybe it's Papa Smurf. Clumsy, Papa Smurf doesn't growl. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Bluster! You ungrateful cur! Have you cornered a tasty rabbit that you are not about to share with your master? <laughs> if it weren't for me, you'd be nothing but a feast for fleas. And speaking of feasts, roast rabbit would be. Aha! By thunder, what are you? Uh, she's c c clumsy, and I'm Smurfette. I, I mean, uh, I'm... We're Smurfs. Smurfs. Incredible. The world will pay a fortune to see such tiny creatures once you become the star attraction, the bombast traveling show. <laughs> you, my little pets, will be the most unique theatrical act ever beheld by human eyes. But, 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 but we don't do any tricks. Uh, I can do a cartwheel. Clumsy, no, you can't. Oh, uh, sure I can. Watch. Oh. Uh. Oops. Oh, uh, sorry, Smurfette. See what I mean? No matter. I, Bombast the Great, trained this empty-headed hound. <laughs> and I can do wonders with you, too. <laughs> Quiet. Soon these little pets will make your feeble dog act a thing of the past. Clumsy have been smurfnapped. Smurfnapped? We must follow the trail wherever it leads, quickly. Faster, you lazy beast, faster. 
And you cease that infernal snuffling! <laughs> You're soiling my garments, canine. Desist the right owl. What's this? Aha! So that's it, eh? Oh, uh, what are we stopping for? <gasps> Sorry, my pet. But your rescuers, whoever they may be, have just come to the end of the trail. <laughs> human village not far ahead. The wagon must be going there. And so are we. A, a human village? It's a place of many dangers, my little Smurfs. But we have no choice. Yes, Papa Smurf. No, no, no. Do it again. And this time, do it right. Yes, sir. Bluster, stop! How dare you endanger my stars? Now back off! Please, Mr. Bombast, these tricks are too hard. You will do as I command. The Great Bombas never gives up! Not so fast, Clumsy! It's not me! It's the ball! Whoa! <laughs> Fools! We'll just have to keep trying until we find something you can do! How much farther, Papa Smurf? Not far now. Now, don't start that again. That's it. Keep it up. One, two, one, two, one, two. I say, Blaster, aren't they looking good? All right, Smurfs. That's enough. I think you're finally ready for your debut. Every moment wasted is money lost. Oh, Clumsy, look how big everything is. Oh, yeah. I wonder how Papa Smurf will ever find us here. Hey, press fish, get your press fish here. Hey. Wait here, my little Smurfs. I'm going to have a look around. Be careful, Papa Smurf. Oh, my gosh! Did you see anything, Papa Smurf? Yes, I got a very close look at a wagon wheel. Papa Smurf, there are so many wagons, how will we know which is the right one? We'll just have to look at all of them, Greedy. I hate wagons. Remember, Smurf, your eyes open. We don't want anything sneaking up behind us. Uh, 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 <laughs> is everything all right? <laughs> yes, Hepsi, that was close. How close was it? It was so close, my whole life flashed before me. And what a funny life it was. <laughs> Hold it! Where's Grouchy? <gasps> Grouchy! Oh, oh, no! I hate crowds! <laughs> Observe my pint-sized performers. You're about to make me rich and famous. <laughs> A 
And you, miserable cur, will guard my precious pet while I hang these posters around town. Is that clear? And woe to you if any harm befalls them. Understood? This is like looking for a needle in the haystack, Papa Smurf. Don't give up. Clumsy and Smurfette must be nearby, and we won't leave without them. <laughs> Someone's coming! to prepare for the crowds and their money. <laughs> We've looked and looked. And looked and looked. I hate looking and looking and looking and looking. Papa Smurf, are you sure we're going to fight Smurf Dead and Clumsy again? Of course I'm sure. I think. Escaped! You blundering cur! I ordered you to watch them, didn't I? <laughs> you dare disobey the great bombast. For that you will pay dearly. When I'm through, even fleas won't bite you. I'm going to... <laughs> Quiet! When I'm speaking to... Aha! What's this? Run, clumsy, run! Don't just sit there, loudy slump. After them! <laughs> He's coming! Oh, that way! I'm getting dizzy! Whoops! Mind the mule, foolish dog! When disturbed, he has a tendency to... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Kick! Come on, Clumsy! Now's our chance to escape! Clumsy! <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> and they call me clumsy. <laughs> Never mind that. We've got to get... Well, well. It appears that the show will go on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Asriel, don't you just love gray, gloomy days? It keeps all the peasants away. Oh, 
How dare it rain on this of all days? It's ruining all my plans. Now there will be no audience and no money. Only fools would venture out in this weather. Well, well, and there's a fool now. <gasps> it's Gargamel! Egad, Smurfs, Azriel, here in the city. I knew this was going to be a good day. <laughs> Step right up, my good man. The show is about to begin. Stage fright, eh? Well, relax. Your audience of one awaits. And one penny is better than no pennies. And now we present... Huh? Uh, gosh, Smurfette, where'd Gargamel go? Right here! <laughs> At last you're in my clutches, you miserable blue termites! <laughs> Quiet, Azra! Uh, uh, nice doggy. I was just getting your little uh, actor's autographs. <laughs> uh, see? Uh, there they are. Uh, all nice and safe. <laughs> I, I wish I could stay for the show, but... I really must be going. Yo! Unhand me, miserable cat! I can't see where I'm... So! Trying to see a free show, eh? Not true, sir. Not true. It, it, wizard's honor. <laughs> what now, Papa? Yeah, we've smurfed all kinds of wagons. We haven't smurfed that wagon. Uh, I'll volunteer. Smurfette, clumsy, where are you? Are you hiding in there, little Smurfs? Oh, it's too heavy. Oh, I guess I'll just have to eat my way through. Uh oh. Whew, that was close. Any luck, Reedy? Uh, yeah, yes, Papa. All bad. It's no use. <laughs> They're gone forever. Poor Smurfette. Poor Clumsy. My little Smurfs, we've come this far, and we can't stop now. How dare you view my little blue pets without paying the price? Little blue pets? But, but, but I'll pay ten times the price. I, I, I don't just want to view them. I, I, I want to buy them. That sounds like... Gargamel! I hate... Never mind. Come on. The great bombast sell his stars? Never! Uh, but, but I'll double the amount and throw in this slightly used cat for free. <laughs> No deal. And don't bother me again. I have a show to put on. Perhaps he'll change his tune when his little performers can't perform. I don't know who's worse, Bombast or Gargamel. Oh, that's a tough one, Smurfette. <sighs> oh, hey, the fog's rolling in. That's not fog. <laughs> now, Azriel, Bombast will beg us to buy his useless Smurfs. <laughs> Smurfette, what's wrong? Gargamel must have cast a sleeping spell on them. Showtime! And now, ladies and gentlemen, here they are. To amaze and astound you, the one and only Smurfs. Wake up! Wake up! Don't do this to me! Hmm. Looks like your Smurfs have let you down. You again? Yes, and although these little creatures are obviously worthless, I'll do you a favor and... You'll do me a favor, all right. Let's step backstage, shall we? No! Wait, wait, Bombast! Listen, I'll make you another deal. Okay, the coast is clear. We must move fast, or we'll all wind up in the stage. Poor Smurfette. Poor Clumsy. Poor? Get on! We gotta get out of here! No, please! You'll give me a headache! You already gave me a headache! 
Osriel, do something to help me! And now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the show must go on, presenting the Waltzing Wizard! What happened? Oh, yeah. Papa Smurf. Oh, am I glad to see you. Oh, boy, am I glad to be out of show business. I'll bet they know just how you feel. Look. <laughs> Oops. What is it, Papa Smurf? Shh. Listen. They're coming after us, Papa Smurf! Quickly, Smurf behind that log! But, but, but you don't understand! I will really pay you this time! Never mind! My payment will be your hide! Yay! <laughs> Bravo! That's what all good shows need! What's that, Papa Smurf? A happy ending! Oh, Oak Bay, Dragon Elm. Ah, the worst part of being a wizard, even a great wizard like me, is grubbing about for ingredients and fungus and lizards and dead toads. Ah, no maggots or scorpions. What's that? Yes, Murphy, and some pond snore, too. Oh, I just love the smell of fresh herbs. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> what were you smurfing? <laughs> well, thank you, Rainy. You found the pond snort. Oh, you're welcome, Papa Smurf. See, when you can't do the job, just call on me because I leave no Smurf unturned. And furthermore... So don't call on me. Come along, Brady. I think we have all the herbs we need. Goodbye, little pond. And pond snort. And... Uh, uh, what's wrong, Papa Smurf? Run for your Smurfs! Oh, 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 oh. Well, now. Well, now, look at these little fellows. I know, little fellow. Ow! Mm. Who are you? I'm Smurfette. Who are you? I am Mordane, wizard to King Argon. Little fella. Huh. Fascinating creatures. Perhaps I can find a use for them. <laughs> Come out of there, you rotten little... There, that should hold you. King Argon. Now, what does that gluttonous despot want? Oh, what a terrible wizard. Oh, what are we going to do, Papa Smurf? Don't worry, Papa Smurf will think of something, won't you, Papa Smurf? No, I'm working on it, Brady. Mordane! Ooh, where is that miserable wizard? My belly is about to burst! Oh, mine too, sire. Ooh, I can't believe we ate the whole thing. You right, sire? Wizard, prepare a potion to ease our aching stomachs. Yes, sire. It shall be done, sire. Oh, it's too high, Papa Smurf! Clumsy, you're stepping on my head. Oh, oh, sorry, Brady. Is, is that better? <laughs> you're welcome. Careful, Brady. I'm trying, Papa Smurf. <laughs> Why can't the king ask me to conjure up a spirit or a spell or a vision? Or prepare a potion for a trifling stomachache? Ah, I don't even have a recipe for such a ridiculous thing. Well, I'll give him something. 
A little oil of evergreen, some oak bane, a touch of chili pepper, and a dash of castor oil. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, it's making me sick. It's making us all sick. Ah, perfect. Wizard, your potion is wrong. What did you say? To cure stomach problems, you need Smurf berry syrup and mountain moss and pond snort. <laughs> You're telling me, the great Mordain, how to cure a stomach ache? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> well, he can't say I didn't warn him. Yes, he who laughs first smurfs least, and he who laughs last smurfs best. Or something like that. <laughs> oh, that's terrible! Uh, feeling better now, sire? No! I feel worse than ever! Yeah, maybe you need a little more... Uh... More? Bring a remedy that works, wizard, or I'll see you rot in the dungeon! Do you understand? <laughs> yes, I am. The last. Now I'm in big trouble. Perhaps I should have... Listen to Papa Smurf. What? Papa Smurf knows all about formulas. Papa Smurf knows about everything. Are you a wizard? Well, I work with formulas from time to time. Can you cure the king's aching stomach? Yes, but only if you let us go. So be it. Get to work. Do I have your word, wizard? Of course! Mordain's word is a word of honor. <laughs> wizard? <laughs> yes, sire. You have done well. I feel like a king again. Ah, thank you, sire. I knew you would, sire. The potion worked perfectly. Of course it worked. If Papa Smurf Smurf's a cure, you stay cured, because Papa Smurf always... Quiet! Mordain, we've kept our half of the bargain. Now keep yours. It's time you let us go. We have a long journey back to our village. Oh, didn't I tell you? I've changed my mind. You're staying. You're all staying. I can use your help around here. Oh, you nasty old wizard, you promised! You did it. We all heard you. Right, Papa Smurf? Silence! From now on, do as I say, or I'll toast your little blue eyes. Sire, 
Why wasn't I told about these creatures? Uh, creatures, sire? Ah! You're mean and nasty, Mordain. I want an answer, wizard. Then I, I was saving them as a, a surprise for your birthday, sire. My birthday? Oh, oh well, very good. But who are they? What do they do? Do? Now, listen here. I demand to... Uh, do? Uh, they uh, uh, are performers. Yes, performers, sire. Performers, eh? Hmm. What about the one with the beard? He looks too old to perform. I'm only 542. Uh, this one is useless, sire. I only keep him for cleaning the hard-to-reach corners in my laboratory. Very well. Keep him, but the others will perform for me. Yes, sire. Terrible, terrible, nasty wizard. Nevertheless, the show must go on. <laughs> Listen, Smurfs. Papa Smurf and the others are way overdue, and we've got to find them. Pecker, Harmony, Greedy, Lazy, Jokey, Grouchy. I hate volunteering. Is the trail cold, Cracker? The trail is never cold, Hefty. You just have to know what to look for. Aha! The tracks end here. <gasps> Any ideas, Cracker? Say, by George, these are human tracks. I've been smurf -napped. Boy, when I get my hands on that human, let's get going! Oh, I wonder where Papa Smurf is. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, don't worry about Papa Smurf. He would never, ever let us down. Don't be too sure of that. Ah, oh, hello, my little Smurfs. P Papa Smurf, are you all right? Never felt better, Brady. I was just helping my friend Mordain with an experiment. Your, Your friend? Him? Enough! It's time to entertain King Argon and his knights. Brady, Hansi, I thought of a way out of this. I have an idea, too. Listen, all we have to do is perform just terribly, and the king will hate us. Oh, yeah! Then what? Then he'll let us go. Just what I was thinking. Well, sing, Smurfs! Sing! What's the meaning of this, wizard? Uh, they uh, must have uh, sore throats, sire. But watch how beautifully they uh, dance. Uh, dance, Smurfs, uh, dance! Dance, Smurfs, uh, dance! Give me a stomachache, wizard. Oh, Brady, it's working. Of course, my ideas always work. Didn't I tell you, sire? They shall perform at my birthday banquet tomorrow. <laughs> Papa Smurf, are you going to help us escape? Escape? Why would you want to escape? Don't you want to go home, Papa Smurf? No, oh, no, clumsy. This is my home now. This is your home? Papa Smurf. You heard him, Smurfs. You're all going to stay here forever. You nasty wizard. You, you put a spell on Papa Smurf. The smart little Smurfette. And unless you cooperate, I'll put a spell on you, too.
Is it much farther, Tracker Smurf? Not far now. Ah, follow me, my Smurfs. Yeah, let's get them. Let's. <laughs> The Smurf of Mugwort, three sarsaparilla leaves, four grams of hellebore, and the boiling juice of a mandrake. For your sake, Papa Smurf, this new potion had better work. I guarantee it, Master Mordain. I must try it out, but on who? Oh, I can't believe I ate the whole thing. Oh, I feel terrible. Give me more medicine for my stomach, wizard. Of course, of course. I just made up a new batch. Oh. <laughs> It works! <laughs> the formula works! Now I can carry out my plan. <laughs> Our fellow Smurfs are in that castle. Then let's get Smurfing! The coast is clear. And stay close! Not that close! My George, I smell. I say, mountain knights! I say, hit the spur! The close, eh? Come on! This place is so big, it'll be like finding a smurf in a haystack. Don't fret, Greedy. I'll sniff them out. We must start up the birthday fireworks. And you shall help me, Papa Smurf. My pleasure, Master Mordain. It's Papa Smurf. But why did he call him Master? And we're Smurfette and Brainy and Clumsy. In here. Oh, look. It's Hefty and Tracker and Smurf. Up here. Oh, Smurf is out of here quick. Ready, Smurfs? Smurfs away. some more rockets while I find those ungrateful Smurfs. They couldn't have gone far. Yes, Master Mordain. What's wrong with Papa Smurf? Oh, that nasty Mordain put a spell on him. And we've got to break it before Mordain comes back. Uh, yeah, but uh -huh. obviously the answer lies within the pages of these books. Obviously? Well, everybody, Smurf a book and start looking for the anti-spell. <laughs> Taken lightly. I have an idea. <laughs> oh, Papa Smurf! Smurfs! Master Mordain is very upset. Why did you run away? Oh, Papa Smurf, we found a formula that'll make us sing and dance a lot better. Can you mix it for us? What a smurfy idea! My master will be delighted. I think he's bought it. Now let's just hope the formula works. Last but not least, a dash of pepper. Done! Oh, thank you, Papa Smurf. <laughs> Smurfette, uh, Brainy, uh, Clumsy, what happened? Oh, Papa Smurf, is it really you? Oh, are you all right? Oh, 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 yes, I'm, I'm fine now, but we must escape before... Papa Smurf, you found them. But uh, where did these others come from? Oh, uh, they came to rescue me, Master, but I captured them for you. Excellent. The more Smurfs, the better to keep the king amused. 
<laughs> you have done well, wizard, bringing me more of these little blue creatures. Let the minstrels play! Oh, wait, sire. First, fireworks in honor of your birthday. Bravo, Martin! Bravo! Oh! oh. Enjoy this next batch, Your Highness. Rivet, 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 rivet. <laughs> Happy birthday, sire! Now, while you and your fat friends eat flies, I shall steal all your gold. <laughs> What's this? Hey, come back, you rotten smurfs! Come back! Rivet, rivet, rivet. Faster, my loose burst, faster! Rivet, rivet, rivet. Ah! Ah! Now I've got you. No, no! Rivet, 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 rivet. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. What happened? Mordane put a spell on you. Mordane? Ah, now you reversed his spell? He sure did. If it weren't for Papa Smurf, you'd still be a frog. Absolutely. And your gold would be gone, too. Ah, you Smurfs are small of size, but brave of heart. I owe you a great debt. Take this golden goblet, please. Thank you, Your Majesty, but we have no need for gold. But I would be honored. No, we just want to return to our village. So be it, my little friends. Tracker, hefty, smurfette, brainy, <clears throat> clumsy. Lazy, jokey, jokey. Jokey! Wait for me, Papa Smurf! Yeah, Jokey! Where have you been? <laughs> I was just giving the king a little birthday surprise! Surprise? <laughs> <laughs> I knew he had a sense of humor! <laughs> Smurfly divine. Oh, I thank you, Vanity. Ah, oh, yes, Vanity, you sly Smurf, you divine is the word. Mm. Oh, I can think of a few more words, but I'm a lady. Good morning, lazy. Huh? Uh huh? How do you like my new dress? Oh, well, I, uh. uh... I hate dresses. Smurfs? Who needs them? They don't understand me at all. Your princess, some more crackers? Oh, thank you very much, Laura. You're welcome. Yahoo! Oh, yippee! Talking to yourself again, Laura? I'm talking to my friend, the elf princess. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as elves, silly. Yeah, Mother says they're just make-believe. Well, you're playing make-believe, too. You're not even real knight. That's different. Come on, Henry. Let's go catch a frog. Maybe she'll kiss it and turn it into a prince. Or an elf. Dumb old boys. <laughs> Another dumb 
old dames. They never understand us girls. I know just what you mean. <gasps> Who are you? Uh, are you an elf? <laughs> no, I'm a smurf. But some of my best friends are elves. Really? Mine, too. Well, well sort of. What a pretty dress you have. Why, thank you. You know, I think we're going to get along just smurfy. Oh, oh, who's that? Just my pesky brothers. I'd better go. They wouldn't understand about me. They don't understand me either. Could I come with you, please? Well, I, I don't know. Oh, 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 Laura, we return from the crusade. Laura? Laura? Laura and her elves. You see anything, Henry? Um, um, uh, no. Not a thing. I didn't see a thing. Well, come on. We better find her. Laura! <laughs> <laughs> we sure fooled them, Smurf, that we girls have to stick together, right? Right. Look! A house in the middle of the forest. Hmm. I've never been here before. Let's Smurf a look inside. <gasps> Laura, this is perfect. It is? This can be our own secret place. Yes, and no boys allowed. A smirk. La 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 There, we did it. Our very own secret place. Just for us girls. Well, well, well. <gasps> and what have we here? Who oh, are you? Me? I'm just one of the girls. <laughs> and you are in my house. Oh, my. We're very sorry, and we'll be on our way. So soon? Why, I wouldn't think of it. But we must. Easy, Porthos. They're not going anywhere. Are you girls? <laughs> Laura! 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 Where could she have gone? Norman, I think the elves got her. Elves? Henry, don't you start that too. Laura! But I saw one, a little blue one. Henry, this is no time for jokes. Come on. We'd better tell Father Laura's missing. Come, come, dearies. Hurry up with that. There's much more to do. But we're tired. And we're hungry. Yeah, we want to go home. Home? But this is your home. From now on. <laughs> My little Smurfs. Has anyone seen Smurfette? No. I haven't seen a thing. Have you, Greedy? Me either. Not since this morning. This morning? Was she upset? Uh, I didn't notice. Well, did she say anything? Gosh, I, I didn't notice. Well, we were kind of busy. Yes, busy ignoring her. I'm afraid Smurfette must have run off. <gasps> run, run off? Come quickly. We must find her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Eat hearty, dearies. There's plenty more bread and water when you finish that. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Then dinner is over. <laughs> now it's bedtime for you two. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Ah! <laughs> That's a big idea! Oh, What's smurfing on here, anyway? Look! Laura! Laura! Shh! Humans! Whoa! Human! Ooh! Laura! 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 Well, here's where we were, Father. Then she just disappeared. I told you boys to watch your sister, and now she's out in the forest all alone. She wasn't alone, Father. She was with... with a little blue elf. Shh! Smurfette! She must be with this human girl. Blue elves, my eye. We have to find Laura and find her fast. Yes, Father. Laura! 
Laura! Laura! Quickly, we must follow them. Laura! Laura! Someone's coming! Now we'll be rescued! Not unless they know we're down here. Come on, we have a lot of work to do. Harsh, Porthos! Yes? Forgive the intrusion, good woman, but we seek a lost child, my daughter. Oh, a child, you say? Let me see. Uh, yes, I believe I saw her heading uh, that way. That way? That way? What was that? Oh, <laughs> just rats. The root cellar is full of them, you know, ever since I lost my cat. Well, thank you for your trouble, madam. Good night. That was Smurfette's voice in there. I bet my Smurf on it. Come on. You can yell all you wish now, dearies. It won't do you any good. <laughs> All you Smurfs, be very, very quiet, because Papa Smurf says... Uh oh <laughs> Laura! Laura! Are you sure it was a voice you heard in that house? Yep, like a little elf. And I'll bet Laura's in there, too. <sighs> then let's go find out. Quiet, Porthos. Leave the squirrels be, or no supper for you. <laughs> I'm so scared, Smurfette. I wish I'd never run away from my brothers. It just made everything worse. I know. I miss my sweet little Smurfs, too. Oh, oh, oh. This branch will get us to the roof. Then we can climb down the chimney. No problem, Papa Smurf. Yeah, it's as easy as smurfing off the little... I told you! Barros! <laughs> quiet! <laughs> quickly, my Smurfs, quickly! Smurfette's life may depend on us! A little girl elf must be inside! Yes, with Laura! Come on, let's follow them! Quickly, there's not a minute to Smurf! you're safe. Oh, yes. Thanks to the little blue Smurfs. Smurfs? It's true, Father. If it wasn't for the Smurfs here, they're gone. Well, I'm sure if they truly exist, you'll see them again someday. Now, let's go home. <laughs> I've got you now, you little blue creeps. Run, Clumsy, run! <laughs> this time you won't get away. <laughs> Watch the route. What route? <laughs> Help! He's got me! Help! Put me down! Help! 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 Silence! I prefer quiet meals. Meals? 
Smurf wouldn't do for another. Smurf you tomorrow. Well, uh, I'm gonna repay him anyway. It's the least I can do. Clumsy, what are you doing? I'm making your breakfast in bed. It's the least I can do. Uh, you don't have to go to this trouble, really. Oh, <laughs> it's no trouble. You just relax, and I'll do everything. Breakfast is served. Oh, uh, thanks, Clumsy. Wait, wait. First, your napkin. There you are. That's all right, Clumsy. I never eat a big breakfast anyway. Well, that's good, because I'm going to make you a huge lunch. Uh, no, uh, I won't have time for lunch either. You see, there's too much work to do at the shop. Too much work? Well, then, I'll help you. But it's the least I can do. Uh, where do I start? Uh, why don't you just watch me? Sure. Oh, uh, Clumsy, uh, could you watch from over there? Oh, sure. I know. You can bring me some screws for my workbench. Sure. I'm getting screws from the workbench. I'm getting screws from the workbench. La, 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 la. Here's the screws. What happened? Oh, uh, I don't know. But I got these screws out of there just in time. Oh. That's it, Clumsy. You sand that important board while I work on Farmer Smurf's new scarecrow. That should keep them out of trouble for a while. Andy, am I through yet? Keep sanding. Am I through yet? Keep sanding. Andy! Keep sanding. Andy, am I through yet? Just keep sanding. your new wind-powered automatic scarecrow. Ugh, and I helped build it, Farmer. Except you got a rock caught under the wheel. But uh, I'll fix that in a jiffy. Clumsy, don't! Oh, no trouble. It's the least I can do. We've got to stop it. It's heading straight to the village. Look out! Runaway scarecrow! Runaway scarecrow! Runaway scarecrows. Come on, let's swerf that thing. Yeah! I got it! Me too! Yeah! Uh, do you mean it's got us? Phew! I hate phew. Oh, what a great scarecrow, Handy. There's not a single crow around. So, what can I help you with next? Nothing, nothing. No more help. But, but you, you saved my life, and I would have done it for any Smurf. So just forget it, okay? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, clumsy! What do you need? More screws? More sanding? Why don't you just gather some wood? Sure! It's the least I can do. I'll never get rid of him. There's only one Smurf smart enough to solve this problem and not hurt Clumsy's feelings. Thank you for the Smurfy introduction. I 
perceive the matter as a conflict of... I meant Papa Smurf! Oh. So, Smurfs, we will set up a situation where Handy seems to be in great danger. Handy will call for help and let Clumsy rescue him. That was just the advice I was going to give. You see, the way it should work is we go down. Genius is never appreciated in its own lifetime. Everything's ready, Handy. Okay, Smurfette, give it a try. It works like a charm. And we're set. Okay, call Clumsy. A gathering wood for Handy. A gathering wood for... Ah! <laughs> 
clumsy. You saved my life. Gosh, I guess now we're even. You certainly are, and I'm proud of you both. Oh, no, Papa Smurf. Huh? The way I figure it, Handy now owes Clumsy, because when Clumsy saved Handy, Handy didn't owe Clumsy, but Clumsy owed... Uh, like Papa Smurf said, now everybody's even. <laughs> Leon, not the last. There, baby, you see, it's a piece of cake. Why, well, bet even Clumsy can do it. <laughs> What's that? Boom, boom, boom. I know it goes boom, boom, boom. What's making that boom, boom, boom? It's Thunder, Taylor. Everyone knows that. When the cold air currents of the north smurf with the... Then how come the sun is shining, Mr. Brittany Smurf? Well, obviously, you know nothing about physics. Physics, physics. When you got no clouds, you got no thunder. I hate thunder. <laughs> Baby Smurf, where are you? Baby, 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 well, it is certainly obvious that Baby is definitely not in his chair. Baby! Baby, where are you? I hate this. Baby! Stupid! It's not furry. It hasn't got big floppy ears. What we have here is a leprechaun. And maybe a pot of gold. This leprechaun's worth more than a whole wagon full of rabbits. All right, my little Smurfs. Baby Smurf is out in that forest somewhere alone. We must begin a search immediately. Baby! Baby Smurf, where are you? Hey, look what I found. Baby's toy. I found something too, Taylor Smurf. <laughs> no, no. What's the matter, little fellow? What? Poachers? His mother and baby Smurf have been caught by poachers. Oh, oh no. no! So that's what it was. Bunny says, the sound you heard was the drum the poachers used to run the rabbits toward the traps. We've got to rescue Baby Smurf. Oh, poor Baby! In you go, Rabbit. Your new home. <laughs> At least for a while. <laughs> All right, Leprechaun, tell me, where's the pot of gold? <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, master, that sounds like baby talk to me. Well, of course it would sound like baby talk to you. What do you know about speaking leprechaunese? He just told me that wild horses couldn't get the secret of the pot of gold out of them. Come, Leon, it's time to check the other traps. All right, Clumsy, you and Greedy take Baby Bunny back to the rabbit warren. Yes, Papa Smurf. The rest of you go back to the village and organize all the Smurfs. If the furrier will not free Baby, we may have to fight. Meet me at the furrier's camp. Yes, Papa Smurf. Oh, my! My fellow Smurfs, you have probably all wondered where I have been. Well, where have you been? I have been with Papa Smurf searching for Baby Smurf. We have discovered Baby has been kidnapped by the furrier. Oh, no! Farmer Smurf? Yes, have they? You get the Smurf Fairy Pies from Greedy. I think 200 pies should be enough. That should do the trick, have they? Andy, you make sure the catapult is in working order. Smurfette will help you. Come on, Smurfette. the same way, Smurfette. We're coming, Baby Smurf. We're, We're coming, coming, Baby Smurf. Smurf. Understand it. Every single trap has been opened. Not a single catch. It must have been a couple of poachers. Shh! Don't say that, Janini. We're the poachers. This is King Gerard's forest. It was a lucky thing we caught that little blue leprechaun because we don't have enough fur to outfit an elf. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Leon? I said we still have three traps to check. Right. You do it while I make sure of my little pot of gold. Hurry, my friend. There is no time to lose. Oh, looky, looky, looky what we have here. Another one of them little blue leprechauns. The master will be happy to have two of them, even if this one is a little old and run down. The master will be double rich now. Instead of one pot of gold, he'll have two. But why should he have all the gold? Just because he talks leprechaunese? Why shouldn't I be rich too? I'll just tell the master we didn't catch nothing and come back for you later. Then I'll have a pot of gold too. <laughs> Oh, looks like we did catch something. Me. Amazing. It's all right. You can come out now. I would like to stay and thank you properly, my dear friend. But I've no time to lose. I must get to the furriers. Baby Smurf is in grave danger. Man. You're a bad man! Quiet, 
Let's stop it, Smurf. If you do not give up Mother Rabbit and Baby Smurf, I will not be responsible for the consequences. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh, Feathers, hurry! A terrible man has Baby Smurf! shows you that not smurfing attention to matters at hand can cause a lot of trouble. But the important thing is, Baby is safe and sound. Do you think the poachers will ever come back to our forest, Papa Smurf? I rather doubt it, Smurfette, but... They're back! Run for your Smurfs! It sounds like it's coming from behind Hepsi's house. Smurf, it's important that you learn all about the plants and animals of the forest. Look at this leaf. It's obviously a member of the Arboretus Evergreenus family. <laughs> and look over there, two fine specimens of the Rodentia chipmuncus species. Yes, baby, there is nothing like the great outdoors. <laughs> Needless to say, baby, I can identify everything in this forest. For example, this is a, um, uh, uh, it's a, um, uh, oh, how embarrassing. I haven't the slightest idea what these trees are. Uh, it might be a pine tree or perhaps a spruce. <laughs> yes, it's a spruce, definitely, and it's a healthy one. Don't you think so, baby Smurf? Baby Smurf, where are you? <laughs> Ah! Ah! A monster! It's a monster! Woo! And Smurf, that baby Smurf, this instant, you m -m -m monster! <laughs> I'm serious, Mr. Monster. I'm not just smurfing hot air. Whoa! Now you've done it. Now I'm really starting to get mad. Don't worry, baby. Uh, your hero, Brainy Smurf, has this, uh, uh problem under control. <clears throat> I will now Smurf you with my secret weapon. <laughs> Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Help! <laughs> <laughs> Ferocious. I battled him with all my might. I had him quartered. I looked him in the eye and then... Wait a minute. Where's Baby Smurf? Uh, I was uh, just getting to that part. Uh, well, uh, you might say the uh, monster just smurfed it away. You mean you ran away and left a little squeezer behind? But Hefty, the monster was so big and ferocious and I... Baby Smurf, you ought to be ashamed of your Smurf. Oh, I don't know. Smurf, Smurf. This is no time to argue, my little Smurfs. We must save Baby. Harmony, sound the alert. Charge! Pyramus! Pyramus, you hulking idiot! 
Where are you? Pyramus? Pyramus? So there you are, Pyramus. Why must you always wander away? You've made us late for our performance at Lord Balthasar's castle. How dare you talk back to me? No, Angelo. How many times must I tell you? Animals respond to affection, not violence. But Mario, I was just... Go back to the circus camp. I will bring Pyramus myself. Oh, very well. I'm sorry, Pyramus. Angelo is young and has much to learn. Come, we have work to do. <coughs> Hurry, my little Smurfs! I can't believe you were such a coward, Brain. But Hefty, the monster had big, pointy teeth and beady eyes and feet as long as, as, as... I don't care how big this monster's feet are. When I get my hands on them, why, I'll... What? <laughs> Golly, guess I wasn't looking where I was smurfing. Come on, clumsy! Smurf a hold of my hand! Hmm, most unusual. This seems to be the footprint of a very large animal. But Papa Smurf, no forest animal has a foot this big. <gasps> it's the monster's footprint. Don't worry, Brainy. We'll protect you. Strange. This looks like the footprint of a... <laughs> Baby! <laughs> oh, Baby Smurf, you're safe. Hey, Smurfness. Papa Smurf, come and Smurf a look at this. <laughs> Why, that's no monster, Brainy. That's a circus elephant. Well, I, uh, of course, I knew it was a, a circus, a, 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 an elephant, well, one of those things, but it was a rather large one, and, uh... Papa Smurf, what's a circus? A circus is a show full of acrobats, clowns, and animals that do tricks. <laughs> oh, dear. What's wrong with Baby? It seems Baby and that elephant have become friends, and saying goodbye to a friend can be sad. I hate sad. Gee, why don't we put on our own circus? A circus for Baby. Yeah! That ought to cheer up a little squeezer. Oh, boy! <laughs> that sounds like fun! Yeah, yeah! I'll be a circus clown! I hate circus clowns! And I'll be a circus musician! I really hate circus musicians! Okay, Farmer, smurf it up! <laughs> the circus tent is up! Liberté! My masterpiece is fini! <laughs> I am one good-looking clown. <laughs> My high wire act should be the high point of the show. Gee, Happy, you look so smurfy. It's like you're walking on air. Oh, there's nothing to it, Dreamy. That is, if you have incredible balance, superior strength, and plenty of courage. No, tell her this hat won't do either. As a circus ringmaster, I need something taller, something that will really make me stand out in a crowd. All right, Brittany Smurf, I have one hat left. Here, this isn't a hat. Just tap it. Ah, this is just the hat I've been looking for. There, it's finished. <laughs> Well, Handy, what is this? It's a cannon, Papa Smurf. I built it for the grand finale of our circus. Now all I have to do is find a real live Smurf to be the Smurfy Cannonball. How does it work? You turn this crank to aim the cannon high or low, and this crank sets the power. One turn equals 20 yards of distance. Then you release this lever, and out comes the Smurfy Cannonball. Ow! Huh? <laughs> I need more room in the elbow, Taylor, and a wider cuff on the pants leg. Now, don't forget to make both sleeves the same length. And now, uh, can you fix my collar so that it's even and... Honestly, it doesn't take much for some Smurfs to Smurf their top. Yeah! Oh! Whoops! Yeah. Phew! Safe at last! Way before. I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Help! Get me down! I can't look. Oh, smurf out below! Oh no! Brainy Smurf, when I get my hands on you. Ah. 
our baby's birth. This is our very first circus. Step right up. Step right up and see the world's biggest rutabaga. Step right up and kiss the world's most beautiful Smurf. Oh, thanks, Smurfette. That was a dream come true. <laughs> You're welcome, Dreamy. Hi, Vanity. Would you like to kiss the world's most beautiful Smurf? I certainly would. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was worth waiting in line for. Gather around, Smurfs! This is your chance to douse the grouch! I hate douse the grouch! Just toss the ball and hit the bullseye and you'll douse the grouch! I'll try it! <laughs> Let's give Baby a chance. I hate Splash! And now it is my pleasure to present the finest, most exciting circus act in the land. I personally have selected these performers, and if I may say so myself, I really smirk, smirk on with it! Mm -hmm. As I was saying, on with the show! I said, next we have a lazy smurf. Wake up. Huh? What? Turn on the spotlight. Oh, sorry, Brady. <laughs> next we have the most daring, most exciting, most smurfy act on the bill. I personally believe that this act is without a doubt. Lazy smurf. Here's Natural Smurf, the Wild Animal Tamer. <laughs> Your Hind Wire Act is next. Um, uh, uh, not yet, Brainy. Let Jokey and Clumsy go next. Well, all right, but you'd better be ready. I don't know if I'll ever be ready. Oh, no! Now just the sight of the high wire makes me dizzy. And now, <clears throat> I said, and now, Lazy Smurf, wake up. <clears throat> and now, the funniest act on our bill. These Smurfs really make me laugh. I was just saying the other day that... Rainy, Rainy Smurf. Smurf! I know, I know, I'll Smurf on with it. Please welcome the juggling Smurfinis. <laughs> What is it, Andy? Can I talk to you? I'll be right back, baby Smurf. You wait here. I better crank this thing up for the grand finale. There, just enough to shoot Lazy the Smurfy Cannonball into the net. I better check the net to make sure it's ready. <laughs> Hefty, what's wrong? I'm... I'm afraid of heights, Papa Smurf. I got dizzy hanging from a tree today, and now I get dizzy on the high wire. Uh, I'm a coward, Papa Smurf. There, there, Hefty. Everyone is afraid of something. That's nothing to be ashamed of. But I used to be able to walk the high wire with no problem. Then you have to decide if you really have any reason to be afraid. And you need to have a little faith in yourself. You're right, Papa Smurf. I can't come on Smurf. And I can't ruin Baby's circus. Well, here goes nothing. Poor Hefty. I hope he's going to be all right. This is not what I expected. But Lord Balthazar, this is one of Pyramus's finest tricks. You promised me thrills from around the world. Instead, you show me a stupid elephant. I'm sorry, Lord Balthazar, but you... Did you hear that? The great Balthazar just said what I've known all along. You are stupid. No! No! No, Pitimus! <laughs> Remove that beast! Remove him this instant! Yes, yes, Lord Balthazar. Chain Pyramus to the castle gates. Be gone by morning, all of you, or I'll feed you to my moat monster. Out! Out! And now it is my privilege to present High Wire Hefty! Yeah! Got to remember what Papa Smurf said. I've got to have faith in myself. 
I've never done before, and each experiment is more deliciously evil than the last. <laughs> Hurry, my little smurfs, and be very quiet. Intruders, Raven, find them!
first I shall turn you all into gold. Then I will fetch the little baby Smurf back down here. I will bake it and grind it into powder. Baby powder. <laughs> what? Oh no, the elephant has gone mad. Stop, stop. Run, my little Smurfs, hide. Help, let me go. Help. He wanted to reach new heights. <laughs> Great smirks, baby. No. Uh oh. Hey, you elephant! Lift me up to the little squeezer. <laughs> But you were so high up there. Yeah, I was, wasn't I? And you were not afraid. <laughs> hey, let's snurf out of here before Balthazar gets back. Yuck! <laughs> I know exactly what you felt. Fear! I, too, have wrestled with fear. But there comes a time in every Smurf's life when he must rise to the occasion and face his fears, no matter what they are. No matter what... Oh, Smurf up, Brainy! I'm glad you found your way back to the circus, Pyramus. I dismissed Angelo. Another helper I can get, but a talented elephant like you... Ah, oh, it is much harder to replace. Goodbye, Pyramus. There goes one brave elephant. <laughs> oh, no! Not again! There, there, baby. Even though a friend must leave you, you will always have his memory. <laughs> Papa Smurf, what do we do now? Why, we'll smurf what we've smurfed before. We'll go right on with our own Smurfy Circus for Baby. <laughs> 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 <laughs>